Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about wasting your time. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software developer, what do you feel is a waste of time learning? What technologies more specifically and why? Well, this is a loaded question, but the short answer is anything that doesn't have relevancy and that you're basically only learning because either someone told you that you should learn it or because you just like it. Let me explain. I don't believe that there is such a thing as learning something that is just a waste of time because just the process of learning is useful in of itself and the more you know the better you will be able to in com comprehend different types of information. I mean some would say that going back and learning, I don't know, small talk or something like that, one of the languages that are pretty much dead at this point, or COBOL, well, COBOL isn't really dead, but let, let's say for the sake of argument that you have, a, you have a technology or a way of working that is so outdated. Let's say you worked on one of those old punch card computers. Most like no one, no reasonable person would say that this is going to be extremely useful for you here today, but it will help you a lot with comprehending the history of programming and how all of these sorts of things work. And that in of itself is a very useful and valuable thing, I think. But if we're going to just try to define something first before I give you like a more elaborate answer on this, I want to say that even though there is no such thing as something being useless to learn, there are things that may not be so important for you to learn that might never really give you all that much benefit if, you're, if your goal is to achieve something very specific. An example would be anything that anything you want to do within the industry or if you want a job, if your goal is to get a job as a programmer and so forth, then you don't have to learn Haskell. If the only goal for you is to get a professional grade software developer's job and you just want you want to be able to build applications and so forth, why in the world would you learn Haskell unless you want to work with Haskell? That doesn't mean that Haskell is pointless and it's a waste of time to learn it. It's just that the, for the purpose that you are trying to figure something out, this language isn't all that relevant. It has almost no relevancy but it will teach you a lot about functional programming and a lot of, you will gain a lot of insight into mental tool in a, tooling as an example. And that's where this, why this question is so hard to answer. There is no such thing as something that is use, useless to learn, but there are things that aren't really all that important to learn if you want to work or if that's the purpose of the whole thing, that you just want a job, right? But if that is the purpose, then I would say that quite a lot of things are pointless to learn. You can pretty much throw out anything today, any type of tool or knowledge or anything like that, that isn't already mainstream. So all of these upcoming languages, you are pretty much, they're almost pointless for you to learn unless you work in a region where they're actually adopted. Since being a professional programmer is pretty much all about getting paid to write code for some reason, then it doesn't really matter what language you use, then you should simply go to, you know, the old saying, you want to fish where other people are fishing, or, because that's exactly what, what the idea behind being a professional is, that you have the skills to work at pretty much whatever company, because you adapt, you pick the language that is going to benefit you, and then you learn that to a point where people will pay you to write that software. and that becomes a lot easier over time. The more languages you adopt, the easier it becomes for you to simply, oh, you today, okay, this company is offering me this and that. Okay, they're using C-sharp. Well, I don't really know that, but I know Java and that's pretty similar. So, well, let's give it a try. And then you figure out that, yeah, it wasn't all, in, in theory, it wasn't all that difficult to make the transition or vice versa. And in another company, it's Python that they're using and then you learn Python. But Let's say for the sake of argument that you're interested in Rust. Now Rust is one of my absolute favorite prog programming languages, but I also know that it's pretty much useless for you to learn at this point. It is so niched if you want to be a professional grade software developer that you really have to go out of your way to find a company that works with Rust. 
you can find them, but they're a minority. So if the goal here is to make it into professional grade software development and you don't really care about languages and all these other things that we, the like the software nerds or the programming nerds care about, then it's pointless for you. It's completely pointless. Same thing with languages such as Elixir. I mean, I love Elixir as well, but I also know that there's only a handful of companies who actually use Elixir in a production environment and odds are that there are better bets for you than Elixir. Golang is the same thing. It's it, There are languages who are extremely popular for... Uh, they're extremely popular, but they are not so relevant in the workplace. To give you the boring obvious answer, saying something like, oh, you know, learning C Sharp or Java or maybe C++ if you're into the lower levels of programming, is the way to go because usually these are the only options that really or PHP maybe these are the options that the vast majority of the industry is using so if we just ignore all the benefits from learning all these other languages then this would be the only thing worth putting your time into and other tooling such as uh, all these enhancement tools like learning how to use I don't know learning how to use different CI pipeline tools or learning how to use different uh, different frameworks and so forth. I mean, if you're going to do front-end as an example, learning anything except Angular and let's say Angular, React and Vue just for the sake of argument, then learning anything except for that would be pointless, pointless because the, this, these three frameworks, they <clears throat> represent pretty much all the jobs out on the market. But this is what I'm saying. It, they are not the only thing out there on the market. So that's that, That's where why this question is so hard. I can only tell you that everything that isn't already super mainstream and the norm for most companies is pointless. Why would you learn Mercurial, for example, which is a version control system that is kind of, it's a, it's, it's, think of it as Git, but it's not Git, it's its own thing it would be pointless because Git is pretty much the it's the standard for most companies, although there are companies that are using Mercurial. And then there are pretty like there are tons and tons and tons of different like theoretical things like functional programming is almost pointless to learn, even though it's a great supplement to your knowledge and your understanding of software development. And it will make you a much better programmer if you ask me, but it is quote unquote pointless for work purposes because almost nobody uses it. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't believe that there is such a thing as something that is pointless to learn, but I do believe that there are things that are pointless or very a lot less relevant for you to focus on depending on your goals. If you want to be a games programmer, why in the world would you learn something like, I don't know, Ruby? It wouldn't make much sense. Like, if you want to work in, in with game development, then you should focus on the mainstream tools for game development, and everything else becomes pointless. And the same thing goes for in for application development. If you want to be a corporate level developer, anything except for C Sharp and Java will be pointless. So that's kind of what what it comes down to. If if you need, if you really need to figure out what is useless technology, then you need to just ask yourself, what is my goal? What is used? What's the main tools for the goal that I have? And then pretty much just ignore everything else. I think that that is not necessarily the best strategy, but it's definitely a strategy that some people use, especially the people who are mo mostly focused on just earning an income from programming without having a passion for all these things around and all the all the practices and like the the craft itself. So it's not that you can't do this, it's just that it's not right for me and the people who I hope, hope agree with me that all knowledge is useful to some degree. Have a great day.